Okay, let's continue. That will be the last part of our uh, the assignment. Uh, question number 20. Uh, determine which of the four levels of measurements, nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio, best describe the given data. Before we uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, what best describe the data, um, let's first understand what means nominal, ratio, ordinal, interval. So, uh, nominal. Nominal, everything that is uh, uh, unique, it's label, it's uh, categorical, practically. So, um, uh, if I say, let's say, uh, social security, that's going to be nom nominal uh, level, right? If I say male or female, it's going to be nominal level because it's a, 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 you just, it's a characteristic, it's a qualitative, okay? Male and uh, uh, the female. Uh, what else it can be? It can be uh, nationalities, it can be name, uh, uh, it can be brand, those are all nominals. So, um, ordinal. After the highest level is nominal, then come uh, ordinal. Ordinal, uh, uh, so nominal can be only qualitative data, only. Ordinal uh, can be not qualitative and can be quantitative. So what's the difference between how to identify if you have qualitative data, how you identify if it's nominal or ordinal. So when it's come to ordinal, um, the data you can, and count and they are unique in their own sense. For example, if you take grades, you know, uh, every letter of grade, every grade is unique, right? A, B, C, D. But yet at the same time, you can arrange them in order. That's a quantitative uh, property, correct? A is the highest, B, and then so forth. Uh, let's say take a prize. Uh, every prize is uh, qualitative because it's unique, it's a nominal. But because you can count, let's say first prize is unique, right? Second prize is unique, only one second prize and third prize. But at the same time, you can uh, arrange them in order, first, second, third. So at this point, therefore, it's going to be instead of nominal, it's going to be ordinal. We understand that. Um, next is going to be interval. Um, in a, the, what this can be interval? Interval at, at a level of measurement that can be uh, air conditioner temperature. It can be scale when you uh, at the getting uh, up on scale to measure. Uh, with in this case, what is interesting, the zero doesn't have any meaning. Okay. Uh, in the case of interval, at a, I'm sorry, in the case of ratio, it's a difference. Different when you are practically comparing uh, uh, two numbers to each other, let's say score of team, four to one, three to zero, right? That is very important. Um, so, what, uh, let me see what kind of, uh, at, um, uh, interval example, I mean, ratio example can bring year of work experience, years of work experience. How can uh, it is ratio because you will compare to others' uh, uh, experience of um, by years and this way you will know who is doing better. Um, number of students um, who uh, identify as religious, that is also a discrete number and uh, it is a uh, ratio because you're gonna, how you're gonna know which one is more, uh, where, which religious has more a number of students involved, which one is less. So it's gonna be um, also a ratio. And uh, uh, the um, ratio can be not only discrete, but continuous also. For example, speed in miles per hour. It is continuous, right? Because on given interval, in our interval one hour, it can take any value, right? And yet uh, it's ratio because you will compare. You, you can uh, compare to somebody else or somebody else's car or uh, somebody's ability to drive that fast. 
So that's a ratio. Okay. Um, anything else? Let me see. No, uh, so um, one major difference is uh, that the ratio has a meaning of uh, zero while interval doesn't have any meaning. So when we have zero on the scale, it doesn't have any meaning. We are balancing out by the zero, balancing out the um, our scale. Okay, let's uh, get uh, going. So what do we have here? Color. Here, color, uh, which one would be nominal ratio, ordinal, interval? I would say nominal because it's unique. You can't, uh, there is no uh, order for hair color, right? It can be uh, red color, bl uh, the blue color, uh, green color. Nowadays, you can be any color you want. Uh, and you can't uh, put in order, uh, doesn't fit anywhere. So it is gonna be nominal, but uh, uh, if I if I would take let's say uh, position of um, let's say football players in the game that would be ordinal right because each number is unique so number I don't know seven number eight number nine yet they are in order because they they have their position okay next one oh. I haven't checked. Okay, bingo. Question number 21. So, you know, the term we need to find again, a nominal, ordinal, interval, and so on. So what do we have? Uh, ethnicity of subject. Caucasian, African, American. So in this case, uh, I would say it's, uh, let me see. I would say uh, nominal. Uh, let me see. The nominal level of measurement is most appropriate because the data cannot be ordered. That's right. Nice work. I would like to have some different answers. Uh, temperature. Well, temperature of fever, we already discussed that is uh, uh, interval. Question 23. So we need to find the level of measurement. A research project on effectiveness of skin grafts begin with compilation of the number of skin grafts performed at each hospital in a country. Okay, uh, number of skin grafts, uh, research on effectiveness of skin grafts begins, I would say it's uh, gonna be um, ratio level because uh, you, got, you can compare number of skin grafts from different hospitals. See, it says performed at each hospital in a country. So let me see, uh, the ordinal level, I mean, the ratio level of uh, measurement is most appropriate because the data can be ordered. Differences between uh, by subtraction can be found uh, and are meaningful at uh, there is natural zero starting point. That is true when it's uh, a zero point is a starting point, but you uh, the, the fact that you can compare that to each other, that's a main, uh, a reason for me. So I'm choosing uh, ratio and uh, bingo, moving to question number 24. Okay, when I have, uh, when I have years of election, 1988, I would say definitely the interval because you're gonna look between years 1988 to 1922, it's, it's usually, um, let me see. Yeah, so uh, this is uh, interval because it goes from 1988 to 1992 interval, 1992, 
Okay, moving to uh, next question. What do we have? In order to maintain privacy of patient in a clinical trial, the patients are assigned identification numbers randomly selected between uh, 1 and 287. Uh, the mean of those numbers is 144. Okay. So uh, let me read one more time. The patients are assigned identification number. There we go. Identification number is unique. So it is, uh, I would say it's a nominal. So next question, uh, what's wrong with given calculation? The true average is 143. So let's see, what do we have? We have randomly assigned uh, identification numbers, uh, randomly selected between one and 283. Randomly numbers, random numbers. Uh, I mean, w there is no meaning of the average to calculate. Um, I would say A is falling off. B, it says uh, such data are not uh, counts or measures of anything, so average mean needs to be com uh, computed in different way. I would say it doesn't have meaning at all because of the average, meaning mean, average, doesn't have, because we're just randomly selecting numbers from one to between 287 and one. Um, C looks like it can be the case, such data are not count or measure of anything, so it makes no sense to compute the average, bingo. And lastly, there is nothing wrong with given calculation. No, there is everything wrong with given calculation. Where from they got 143, 144, uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's check. Okay, we got good job, moving to 20, uh, six. Okay. So, which one is here categorical data? Okay, let's see what we have here. Amount of rainfall, no. Tree height, uh, no, it's not categorical. Hair, hair color, there we go. Number suitcase, no. Hair color. Nice work. And the last one, 27. So what uh, level of measurement consists of categories only where data cannot be arranged in ordering uh, scheme, schema? It's, it's obviously, it's nominal. If uh, you can order, arrange in order, it's gonna be ordinal. Good job, so we are done. That was the last question. Okie dokie, I hope you learn and you can do your homework. All right.